Prince Harry openly spoke about one of the most difficult days in his entire life being the day he walked behind his late mother's coffin. Prince Harry said that no child should ever have to go through that. At the same time, while the UK press, the tabloids had the cameras firmly gazed upon Prince Harry at the time. And fast forward to right now. Prince Harry has to go to the same same pain. And now Prince Harry walks behind his late grandmother's coffin, Queen Elizabeth II, my family. And this shall be a very, very tough day for Prince Harry. And I wanted to make this video to just say, Prince Harry, you are not alone. We stand with you. We, the Sussex Squad, we are with you. We, the Sussex Squad, we are with you. And we shall always be with you. In every single step you take, we shall be there. We'll be supporting you, Prince Harry, during this difficult time. As you walk behind your late grandmother's coffin. Now, my family, these are the details of Wednesday's procession to Westminster Hall, which will see King Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, Prince William, Prince Harry join on foot. Camilla, Queen Consort, Countess Sophie Wessex, Kay Moulton, and Duchess Meghan shall travel by car. That is local time UK. So, the procession to Westminster Hall will step off from Buckingham Palace at 2.22 p.m. on Wednesday 14th. It will arrive at Westminster Hall at 3 p.m. That is London time once again. Members of the royal family in the procession are in no particular order. The King, Duke of York, the Princess Royal, the Earl of Wessex, the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Sussex, Peter Fields, Phillips, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, the Duke of Gloucester, and the Earl of Snowden. The Queen Consort, the Princess of Wales, the Countess of Wessex and Duchess of Sussex will travel to the hall by car. Now the short service will last approximately 20 minutes and be led by the Archbishop of Canterbury accompanied by the Dean of Westminster. Afterwards, members of the royal family will depart by car. The Queen's coffin will lie in state by at 5 p.m. London time. Now, my family, this is a very, very difficult time for Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. It's a difficult time for him. We know that Prince Harry was so, so close to his late grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. As a matter of fact, Her Majesty the Queen herself bought baby Archie a waffle maker while Prince Harry and Meghan you know, were, in, were living in California and the Queen asked what Archie likes and Meghan and Prince Harry told the Queen that Archie loves waffles. So the Queen got baby Archie a waffle maker. And also Prince Harry in his statement about the passing of Her Majesty the late Queen Elizabeth said the Queen embraced both baby Archie and baby girl Lilibet Diana. So my family, they were very, very much close. However, it is so, so sad that the royal family, the farm, is using this moment as an opportunity at trashing Prince Harry and trying to disrespect Prince Harry instead of actually honoring the Queen's legacy, life and legacy. They're using this moment to try and disrespect Prince Harry. It is so, so shameful. Very, very shameful. I have to say that. I just, I really have to say that. It is shameful what the farm is doing right now at this moment. But however, the farm is not alone. They and the UK tabloid media are doing the exact same thing. They are both participating 
in the bullying of Prince Harry and Meghan right now during this period of mourning over the passing of Her Majesty the late Queen Elizabeth II. Now Prince Harry yesterday you know released a statement through his spokesperson saying this Prince Harry will wear a mourning suit throughout events honoring his grandmother. His decade of military service is not determined by the uniform he wears and we we respectfully ask that focus remains on the life and legacy of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. My family, one thing I like about Prince Harry's statement is that, first of all, this is a classy statement. Prince Harry sees the pettiness of the royal family. Prince Harry sees all of that. And Prince Harry, despite all of that, he knows why he's in the UK. He's in the UK to pay his respects to Her Majesty the Queen right now during this moment as they remain in the UK after the Queen's passing. He is there right now and is staying there to mourn Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. All while the farm, which is now headed by King Charles III, continue to disrespect Prince Harry. But my family have said this. They are not disrespecting Prince Harry. The farm is showing the entire world just how petty they are. And this does not bode well with the public right now. The world is seeing what is happening right now. Now someone said that respect to Prince Harry, he is above the pettiness of the monarchy and their nonsense values. Hashtag Harry released the memoirs. My family, the so-called carnival of so-called experts have been calling for Prince Harry to just not release his memoir. To not speak about his life, his experiences. And my family, I say this, it is important for Prince Harry to release his memoir. It is hugely important. Remember what I've said. If you don't get to write your own story, the UK media will write it for you. They'll call people who have never met you. The firm will ask for people who have never met you to write books about you. Slagging you off. Insulting you. And then the UK press will be happy to call people who have never met Megan or Prince Harry on their TV shows to discuss a book about someone the people they're writing about have never met. These people who write books about Megan and have never met Megan. So it's important for Harry to release his memoir. It is hugely important. Prince Harry is entitled to freedom of speech. He has the right to use his freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is not the sole preserve of the UK tablet press owned by the Maddox and the Rothmeyers. Harry has every right to talk about details in his life, his upbringing, his life of service. He has that right. And no one, let no one ever take that away from Prince Harry. And I'm hoping from the bottom of my heart that Meghan also releases and publishes her own memoir. It is hugely important. Hugely, hugely important. My family, you know, UK media think that only they have the right to free speech. That members of the royal family, like Prince Harry, Meghan, should shut up while the UK press, through the farm, constantly leaks lies, lies, lies about Prince Harry and Meghan. While the farm constantly disrespects Prince Harry and Meghan, I say no to that. Someone called Tiffany said that Prince Harry is the epitome of class. He was always better than them. And that's why he is the people's favorite prince. My family, that is very much true. I mean, think about this. Prince Andrew has been permitted to wear his military uniform during the Queen's vigil. While someone who has served his country for 10 years is not permitted. And I have to say this.
my family. The royal family, the farm, is not disrespecting Prince Harry. It is disrespecting themselves. The world are seeing just how petty the monarchy and the royal family are. Let them have Edward with his medals, his shiny gold medals that he's wearing, that is unearned medals, you know, walking with his unearned medals during the Queen's Vigil or, in, or during this procession as they walk behind the Queen's coffin. Let them do that. Let the world see just how the monarchy is. How undeserving some members of the royal family that have all those shiny military medals like Princess Anne or Prince Edward when they wear those uniforms of theirs. Let the world see. Let the world see the spectacle of the royal family. Because they're not embarrassing Prince Harry. They're embarrassing themselves. Let the world see the clown show of the monarchy. They're not embarrassing Prince Harry. They're embarrassing themselves. Now someone called Elizabeth said this, as do I. The rest will just look like a joke with their chocolate medal. Prince Harry is so gracious. Prince Harry is so gracious and a remarkable person. And I say this as well. Someone called ML say this. We are with you, Prince Harry. We are with you. And I love how I began this podcast saying that, Prince Harry, we are with you. We stand with you. You are not alone. You are, we are with you. Never ever forget that. We are with you. Someone say this. Harry does not need to wear a uniform to honor his grandmother or serve the military community from one veteran to another. Thank you for your service, Prince Harry. Someone said that. We love you, Harry. Another person said this. My family, let's use this moment to show Prince Harry so much love, so much respect. Prince Harry is a good man with a good heart. And may God bless his remarkable heart. May God bless him so, so much. Someone called Teresa said this, that I know Prince Harry is too kind-hearted sometimes, but that's why he has us. And we are there for him, always and forever. Someone said that. Now, someone said that if he was allowed to wear his uniform, then we'll be able to focus on her life and not the pettiness of the firm. Someone else said that, my family. Now, someone else said that, thank you for your service, Prince Harry. Now, someone else said this, that this decision to not allow Prince Harry to wear his military uniform during the ceremonial events honoring and memorializing Queen Elizabeth II is heartless and vindictive and petty. It cannot be justified by citing either protocol or tradition. It is just meant to insult Prince Harry. That is why they are doing it. To insult Prince Harry. To disrespect Prince Harry. Which is what the farm have been doing for so long and for so many years. My family have always said this. You know, the UK media have received the license to go after Prince Harry and Meghan. They have the full license to go after Prince Harry and Meghan. Every attack by the UK press is an attack by the farm against Prince Harry and Meghan. My family, and never let any single person ever, and I mean ever, make you think otherwise. Let no one ever make you think otherwise. The attacks are coming from within the palace, from the farm, which is headed by King Charles III. And during this period of mourning, they are spending their times sending out their hounds, the UK tabloid press, to go after Prince Harry and Meghan, to bully Prince Harry and Meghan. I condemn the bullying. We continue to condemn the bullying and the hate campaign being waged against Meghan by the UK royal family, the farm, and its allies, the UK tabloid press. You cannot 
differentiate one from the other. They are both one and the same, my family. Now, someone said this, Harry, we are with you always and forever. Never, ever forget that. We are with you during this time. And Prince Harry, we stand in support of you. Someone said that even in the morning period, they continue to disrespect Prince Harry. Harry, we know who is the real veteran. We are proud of you. And my family, that is very much true. Prince Harry, we want you to know that we are very proud and we love you. And may God bless you so, so much, Prince Harry. Someone said that that's a real Marine and leadership spirit there. Good King Harry. Harry is too good for that royal family. They never deserved him. The prince has spoken. It's not what you wear. It's what you have done. And Prince Harry has served his country for 10 long years. And currently, he is being disrespected because Prince Harry loves his biracial wife and children. My family, I've told you this story about whereby some carnival or so-called experts said after the one-year review period was over, whereby Prince Harry you know, were given one year to determine if they want to come back as senior members of the royal family. And they say, no, a carnival of so-called experts say that at the beginning, it was hoped that Prince Harry will come back alone without his wife, without his child, because they only had Archie at the time. So never forget what this is about. It is about racism. It is about racism. The royal family, the monarchy, the tabloid press are being racist towards Meghan because... She's a bi-racial woman who married a white prince. Whom the UK press think that they own. Whom the UK press think they should be the ones to decide who he marries. My family. I am thankful for Prince Harry because he has the heart of his mother. He's a true man. A good man, a good husband, a good father. And I'm thankful that he is not like the rest of the farm or the, op or the opposite side of the moral spectrum like the rest of the UK tabloid press are. Someone said that he served for a decade. Let him wear the honors he earned. Someone else said that Prince Harry wants the focus to be on his grandmother and not the uniform. This is all I have. Good Prince Harry, such a classy statement. Bless you, Prince Harry. P.S. I'm still going to call out that disgraceful extended family of yours. Prince Harry, we shall always also continue to call out the farm for what they're doing to you. We won't stop until the bullying stops. We won't stop until the harassment of Prince Harry Meghan stops. It needs to stop and it also needs to be called out it is evil it is cruel what they're doing to Prince Harry Meghan and we all need to stand in unison and call it call it out fight the hate campaign fight the racism and as I've said before I am committed to continue to fight the racism against Meghan and fight the harassment of Prince Harry and Meghan and the bullying that Harry and Meghan are being Subjected to by the royal family, the farm, and the UK tabloid press. Someone called Emma said that Prince Harry is pure class. No matter what outfit Prince Harry wears, the fact he served his country for 10 years can never be erased. My family. Someone else says this. That funny how the person who has seen actual combat, Prince Harry, doesn't feel defined by his uniform. While his disgraceful extended family is busy playing dress up like children by wearing uniforms and fake medals that they never earned. So let them play this dress up. Let the entire world see the clown show that is the royal family. While an actual veteran who served his country for 10 years is not allowed to wear his uniform. Let the entire world see it. Let the entire world 
see it. We want the world to see it. Let the world see it. And let us keep fighting this hate campaign against Prince Harry, Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Someone says that I respect Prince Harry's wishes. However, for the past few years, I cannot recall too much except the hate and racism towards Princess Meghan and the wicked punishment of Prince Harry. Prince Harry is only being punished because he stood by his wife. Prince Harry is only being punished because he loves and respects his wife and children and won't abandon them like the farm and the UK press are hoping he does are trying to bully him to do. Prince Harry said this, I am not afraid of the bullies. Not anymore. Not anymore. Harry is a fighter. Harry is a veteran who served this country for 10 years. And my family, thank, I thank Prince Harry. I thank God because he's a good man with a good heart. Someone said that, and that's how it's done. Thank you, Prince Harry, for your decade of service. I believe he said it best when he said, once served, always serving. Proving once again that service is indeed universal. Now, someone said that, you know, Harry said, I'm a real soldier, not a toy soldier playing dress up like the rest of the firm. Love it. No matter the outfit, 10 years serving, your country cannot and shall never be erased. God bless good King Harry. Thank you, Prince Harry, for your service. Harry, you are too good for this family. And indeed, that statement from Prince Harry, that's a good man with a good heart. Thank you, Prince Harry, for not being like the rest of the farm. Thank you. Thank you. And we are with you. We are with you. Thank you for having a good and kind heart. Truly, you inherited your late mother's remarkable, amazing heart. Now, everything Prince Harry does is so amazing. Like, who is this man, Royal Family? You are turning him into a saint. And indeed, Harry is a saint. Harry is a saint. The Royal Family, the farm, are on the opposite side of the moral spectrum and also its tabloid allies. They're on the opposite side of the moral spectrum. And they wanted Harry to be the same way. That's what they wanted. But I'm thankful for Prince Harry for not being like the rest of them. And my family, with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Harry, we are with you. We are with you. And we stand with you during this difficult moment right now, as you walk behind the late Queen Elizabeth II's coffin, we are with you. I know this moment will bring you memories of what happened, you know, with your late mom, the lips is Diana. But Prince Harry, I know that Meghan is also there to comfort you. And also we are with you. A huge fan base here supports you. You have a kind heart and you're a good man. And we all love you and we respect you, Prince Harry, always and forever. That shall never, ever change. My family, with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Let's all send Prince Harry, you know, positive vibes during this difficult time. Because this cannot be easy for him during this time. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you, family, always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.